Hello everyone, it's the Sims here. Welcome to a brand new video in The Sims 4 and today we are doing a speed build. Yes, I know, I haven't done a speed build in a little while. I mean, I guess I have done them for Halloween, so there is that. But this one is a beautiful apartment complex, yes. So now that we have a full rent for The Sims 4, I decided uh, to do basically my favorite type of build, which is a giant apartment complex. I love doing apartments, you've seen them on the channel, you've seen them everywhere if you follow my stream, if you follow me on anything. I love doing giant builds with apartments and I couldn't really use them before then, but with for rent, now we can finally use them. So if you want to download this build, it is up on the gallery right now. You can look it up by using my ID, which is the same like you're on YouTube, but without spaces. Or you could also use hashtag Silesimits. You should find it pretty easily. And basically this build is called Sunrise Apartments and it's built in Delso Valley. It is not a build that I made with certain packs. I used everything that I have in my game. So if you have limited packs, this might not work exactly for you. I'm pretty sure if you do download a build that does have packs that you don't own, it just makes it... Uh, it, it basically changes the items that you don't own into items that you do own. So you could still download it if you want. But I decided to place this into this beautiful lot in the South Valley, which has always really bothered me because it's so huge. It's giant, ginormous. And uh, I really wanted to make it so it, it was a little less crazy because it's like a, I think it's a 50 by 40 and it's in the middle of a residential neighborhood next to a starter home and it's always it's so empty and it feels like if you're building just one house it doesn't make any sense so making an apartment complex in it and now that it is actually functional I was very very pleased so what's actually fun and important about this build. So in my head canon, when I created this build, this was supposed to be an apartment complex that was created in the late 70s, maybe early 80s, and it's not in the best shape. It's not bad, it's, it's still decently maintained, but it's not the best building on the block. The thing is, it's been here for at this point, 50 years or so, so people are kind of attached to it, so the city doesn't really have, you know, the, it's not really bothering to take it down or transform it or anything, and the landlord that owns it doesn't really care, so it's just gonna stay like this, which is fine. I am personally fine with it. I kind of like it. I kind of like the a little dirtier look. And by itself, the apartments inside are super spacious and decently nice they're not super luxurious i'm gonna talk also about that later on um but they're they're pretty nice they're right like you could live there and be decently happy so and it has a pool it also has a, a private pool so you know it's not a bad building so that's my hat cannon for it and of course at the end of this video instead of screenshots since it's such a giant build even if it's not maybe the most detailed it's still pretty huge i decided to go with a walkthrough instead of screenshots so you will hear me like going through the build and talking about each item so this speed build part is gonna be a little bit shorter that being said i really wanted to make sure that the we had a nice landlord area that i'm building right now so this is where if you are owning this building you would go to fix up stuff there's this little area right there next to the pool that i'm taking apart right now messing around with it and I wanted to make it next to the pool because I'm also building a little basement area to have like a pump or at least something that looks like one. Uh, and it's not technically functional, but I like the look of it. I feel like it's a nice decorative piece and it makes sense and it, it looks good. So of course I did that also right there. So if you are planning on using this as a landlord, you can definitely, you know, go there and fix your stuff, make sure your tenants are happy. As if you are a tenant, you just chill out 
in your house <laughs> and it's pretty nice so this is the pool area i feel like the pool i really wanted it to have it fenced in because it's a public pool technically i guess it's not really public it's private but it's public because it's in an apartment complex so it's for the entire apartment that's kind of the vibe so it's kind of fenced in and also i guess in the 70s also they would do that much more easily like fencing in a pool maybe today is not something that you do as much you much rather probably use a safety net i would think but now i'm making some of the layout of the apartments what's interesting about all of the apartments is that all of them are pretty spacious two of them are a little on the smaller side they have two bedrooms and one bathroom these ones that i'm building right now these all have two bathrooms and three bedrooms and the one on this side instead have two bathrooms and two bedrooms and the bedrooms are pretty pretty big i wanted to do maybe three bedrooms on this ones and these ones too in the end i ended up with two it's you know fine it works and all the bathrooms and all the appliances are the same because i wanted to keep a certain look to the build so that's the reason why you're gonna see that also in the walkthrough and as for the landscaping that i'm doing right now i went with palm trees i felt like since we are in delso valley which is los angeles inspired it made sense to have palm trees there are also some palm trees that are kind of different from these ones. these ones are from island living um, the one in Del Sol Valley are from, of course, the base game, if I'm not mistaken, not even uh, Get Famous. But I did use the one from Island Living because I think they look better, but it, they still fit in the vibe of the area because, you know, we have palm trees in Del Sol Valley and they're pretty close also on the road right next to it. So it really does blend in pretty well and I'm pretty happy with those. And of course, you can see there all the landscaping inside these little planters areas. So right now, I'm going through the build, adding some of the grime that we got with the new pack. I feel like it really sells the look. I, as I said, I didn't want this build to look very pristine. I know the cement look that it has is already like kind of rough, which I really liked. But I did add a couple of these details, especially on the under the windows, around the trim of the roof and i feel like it really sells the looks it's not everywhere it's not too much in your face but you kind of notice it and you're like oh this building is kind of old maybe they should renovate it a little bit but they're not going to so that was kind of the vibe that i was going for and now i'm starting to fill up the first unit i believe this is just unit number one and it's on the bottom floor and it's a, on the smaller side, it's a two bath, a two bedroom, one bathroom. And you know, it's nice. It, it's not super detailed. I didn't want to go too much into detail with any of the units itself, because since this is all a rental, I, I was thinking that probably people coming to live here wouldn't really have much furniture to you know bring in the probably is a rental you probably rent the furniture as well it's not always the case but in my mind in this case it was so there are a few items here and there that are a little bit more personal but overall it's more or less the same everywhere there's a few items especially there's a bookcase that i use almost in every room not every room but every apartment i do um, the units, the AC units that I'm placing right now, those are also kind of the same in every place. And the uh, fixing, the lighting, or the, um, the kitchen stuff, those are all the same in every apartment. Because it makes sense if you're building a building, even if the apartments itself are pro probably renovated on the interior uh, rather than the outside. The outside probably hasn't been touched since the beginning, but the interior has clearly been a little renovated. I still wanted it to feel pretty cohesive that so that the person that renovated renovated all of them with the same stuff, which is what you would probably do in real life. So right now I'm doing this little uh, first apartment 
I tried to use radiators as much as I could everywhere. The All the apartments have an AC unit and all of them also have a thermostat so you can change your temperature, which I thought was very nice. And all of them have this pretty generic look to them. You're gonna see, it's not super detailed, especially if you watch other speed builds that I made or if you are you know into other builds that I've made you will see that there is a stark difference in the amount of decoration that I put in I usually like to decorate a decent amount not too much but to make it feel like it's lived in these ones are very basic bare and bones but I don't think that's a bad thing I think that's fair so for example the master bedroom that I'm doing right now the colors are pretty muted pretty even nothing too much in your face there's some oranges i think but it's pretty basic the only rooms that i went a little bit more colorful in are the children bedrooms like this one this children bedroom is gonna be a little more colorful overall still pretty basic though there's toys of course because if you have children here they would bring in toys but like the beds itself is just a brown color they do have colorful like sheets of course yes but uh, overall, it's pretty basic. As for the bathrooms, again, I used every time the same items. So that shower, that bath, that sink, and that toilet are all the same in every build. And they also all have a dryer and washer and a hamper. So you can also do laundry in every apartment. But they are all the same everywhere. I wanted to keep it consistent as much as possible. This, for example, is unit number two if i'm not mistaken and you can see this one is has is the only one i believe that has a different fridge because i really like the yellow fridge and i guess it makes sense that you might have since it's a yellow it made sense you're bringing it with you because you probably bought it and it's not for rent like it made sense with my mind uh, but again the rest of the house is pretty muted colors you can see it this is the main bedroom pretty muted colors there's a darker wood of course but it's still basic it's nothing too in your face too crazy too poppy too flashy it's pretty cl clean easy something that you probably could use in any case whether you want this apartment you could of course if you're downloading this and you want to change it for yourself you can do that pretty easily and also of course i highly suggest adding more decoration if you want to I believe these ones are pretty, you know, decently well furnished. And especially it made sense to keep it a little bit on the lighter furnishing details and all of that. Because of the fact that we are on such a huge lot with six apartments, I didn't want it to have the game be too, you know, struggling with it. So I felt like it made sense. And in the end, I'm very pleased with the result and I cannot wait for you to see the walkthrough. Something else that I also try to do in every apartment is to have some kind of, I don't know, activity. At least every apartment has something to do that isn't just going on the computer or reading a book. So an apartment is going to have a piano, one of them has an easel, there is a few that have the bonsai tree that you can prune and do gardening with. There's a few that also have outside uh, gardening planters, so you can do gardening. And maybe a couple guitars, I believe, so that you all have some kind of activities for your sims to do. This other unit that I'm building right now and furnishing, actually more furnishing than building, this one is probably the more luxe of all of them and you, you are going to see especially in the walkthrough but also right now it's not really like super luxurious and special and beautiful but it is on the more luxe side it is a little bigger the, the furniture is a little nicer and i think at the end this one is the one that costs the most uh, i have not checked for the renting of the build of the actual building i have not checked which unit you could rent the, with the most money i believe this one would be the one that you rent for the most because it is the one that costs the most and i did check the pricing in the walkthrough at the end so you can also check that out at the end 
but also you can clearly see in this bit build the, the building itself all the items that i'm using are a little bit more expensive there's a little few more items like for example this extra tv in the main bedroom there's three bedrooms rather than two like in other units this one and the one below i believe are the only two with three bedrooms and that makes it like this one is much more expensive so be mindful if you do want to download this build this is probably the unit where that has the more expensive side uh, but of course if you are playing in this unit as a renter you probably don't really care <laughs> actually you probably would choose this one because it's the prettier one but if you're playing it as a landlord you might want to like be sure that this one gets gets people in because you're going to get a lot of money from this one i believe this i believe is unit number four and you can see already that each unit does have a little bit of a different vibe from everyone there are as i said a few items that repeat but they also feel kind of different which i really wanted to have because in the end these are yes they are all apartments in the same complex but they are all apartments that different people own so different people would bring in different pieces of maybe decor and uh, furniture even though they aren't maybe the most furnished and decor spaces i really wanted to keep it and make it like it feels different every in every apartment so every apartment does feel different even though they are all white walls brown floors uh and also i did put the ceiling in the whole in the whole building and it's all cement ceilings so it's kind of gray you're gonna see in the walkthrough i feel like it looks good because it feels nice enough that you would have like a cement ceiling but it's not the most luxe one like it doesn't feel super super detailed and super super refined so you're like oh it's fine we are now in the final building this one is all you two is two units one on top of each other and it's the smaller of the two buildings and this one has such huge bedrooms i really needed to have a little bit more details in them so this bedroom right here i believe it's going to be a little bit of a spa vibe so there's going to be a little bit more of a muted color palette and we're going to have a little yoga area which i wanted to have something in this house that was a little bit of a something that you could do with your sim so having yoga in it made sense to me um and i feel like it looks good and it fills up this little space since this bedroom is so big and huge I don't consider this one the main bedroom. The main bedroom is the other one. You could consider this one the main bedroom because it's so much bigger. But in my mind, this one is a second bedroom that they also use as a kind of a gym slash yoga area. But of course, you can do whatever with it. And you could also change it out if you don't want the yoga stuff. So this is the final unit that I furnished. This is the sixth unit. Actually, maybe this is the fifth one and the one above is the sixth one and I furnished them in the wrong order. Uh, I don't really remember which one I put as which one in the end. This one is a little bit more of a rustic one and I really like and it's the one with the piano that I was talking about. So you do have a few nice items to use, which I really wanted to have. As I said, in every room, in every apartment, there is something for your sims to do, which I really, really like. Uh, I didn't want it to feel like you're just living in a house or whatever. I wanted to have something that made your sims live there. And I feel like it, lo it looks good and it works out. And this is probably one of my favorite units. This is probably for maybe my favorite units. I think it looks so good. And this one is set of in the giant bedroom that we have, which is the same as the one upstairs. Instead of doing like a gym area, I did do a children's bedroom with a lot of toys. You're going to see that in a second. And I feel like it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm starting it right now. At the end, I feel like it works very nicely. At this, first, I wanted to have four beds in it because it's so huge. I was like, maybe we can do that. But at the end, I was like, if we want to also have a nice desk for them to do homework and you want to have a nice toy area, I really needed a little bit more space. So I did 
go down to two bunks, but you could easily add another two beds if you need, or maybe a toddler bed or whatever, according to your family that you want to have live in this apartment. At the end, I think it looks good. And as I said, there is going to be a nice desk for them. There is also a nice activity table that I'm putting in right now. It looks good. I think this is one of my favorite bedrooms in the end. So we're getting close to the end of the screenshots. I'm just doing a little bit more details on the outside. And then we are moving on to the walkthrough. So if you're interested in like looking at every detail, because here, of course, I haven't shown everything. I highly suggest you watch the walkthrough, but also you could download this build. It's up on the gallery right now. And you can easily download it and put it in your game. I suggest using the slot in Delso Valley. Of course, you can put it whatever you want. But uh, I'm going to leave you to the myself of the past that did the walkthrough. And hopefully you're going to enjoy the rest of the build. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice walkthrough. So you've just finished watching the split build and now i'm going to do a little walkthrough because it's such a huge building i want to kind of show it off into more detail so this is the front of the building i think it works very 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 well with this knitter neighborhood here from like above here i feel like it looks very nice and nestled in and you don't really notice it too bad. So this is the exterior of the building. Uh, as you can see, it's two different sides and you've probably seen it if you've watched the speed build. Uh, they have uh, six total units, four on this main bigger building, two in this one, and this one also has all the management stuff. And also there is this very nice pool area. Of course, the it's, supposed to be an older complex of apartments so it is a little scuffed you can see it's a little dirty here and there um it's not in the perfect most pristine conditions but overall i think it's pretty nice uh, it's not very luxurious at all even the apartments inside you're gonna see are not very luxe but i feel like it works very well the pool is all fenced in of course because it was built in the 70s, so they would do that. And here there's also a bike rack. So let's start by going in the first building and let's check the first apartment. So you come in, there's this nice staircase area. And if you go on this side and come in here, this is the first apartment. So you can see it's not super luxe and it's kind of boring, but in my mind, of course, this is all rental. So I had in my mind the idea that people that are here are not really bringing in as much of, of their furniture as, you know, someone that actually lives in a house. So that's why the, the apartments all have kind of the same look. There's a few items that repeat themselves, like the kitchen, um, stove and, and the fridge are all the same as in the sink, I think. Um, this piece right there, this little side table is almost everywhere. Same for the uh, radiators and light switches. And of course the windows and the doors are all the same. And I try to keep it a little consistent because this is all owned by one person that is renting it out. But this is a nice little entrance area with the kitchen and dining and if you move through these French doors we end up in this living room which is pretty nice again not super detailed none of the units are very very detailed but the reason is of course this is a rental and you should probably if you're living here detail it yourself there's also a little thermostat that's in every unit as well as aircon which is on the other side in this unit if you go out here there's this little balcony there is a, a nice plant over there but you know that's not accessible but here you can actually use that to plant stuff so there's um i try to keep a few activities in every apartment so that you have something to do so this is the main bedroom you can see that's where the ac unit is and of course again there's this little balcony nothing on this side this is on the front so there's already the ac unit i didn't really want to do something else but um there's this nice little bedroom with a little computer area again the computers are all the same i believe or more or less a nice little hallway here and we go into this other bedroom this is a children's bedroom there is a bunk bed so you can have two children of course you can swap them out if you need uh i don't know a toddler bed or anything else um, and there is a nice little desk for them to do their homework. Very nice. I, I like the views. I think the views are pretty nice in this area of um, Del Sol Valley. 
and this is the bathroom every bathroom also has hampers and washing and drying so there is laundry on this lot on this side now we're going to a bigger unit this is i think a three bedroom two bathroom so you can see right here this is where you come in there's this nice beautiful giant dining table uh, this is the only apartment that has a different fridge which is actually a worse fridge but that's fine but yeah this kitchen i think is very cute and lovely i like the vibrant yellow and this is the living room for this house again not super detailed uh, there is a few nice pieces of furniture I think the, the couches are very nice they look very lovely and the AC unit is on the side there is also a computer area another balcony right here nothing major on it if you go through this door there is a smaller bathroom that has, I mean, it has everything that you need, but it is on the smaller side, especially for this apartment. This apartment, this one and the one above, are both pretty spacious. And you're gonna see, this is the hallway. So if we go on this side, it should be the other bathroom. Yes, it is. And you can see washing and drying and everything that you need. The bathrooms are all pretty similar. I use the same items in all of them just to keep the look consistent because if you build an apartment complex, you probably use the same items. Yeah, this is the main bedroom. Nothing major. Love the darker colors. Um, love the blue. I think this bed is super gorgeous. There is another bedroom here. This is another children's bedroom. This one only has the top bunk and the desk underneath, but of course you can switch out the desk, put it maybe on this side and put another bed on it. If you need beautiful balconies everywhere. And we also have a third bedroom in this one. This, I was thinking, is more like a guest bedroom. There's a little sitting spot with crochet stuff. And, of course, the rest of the house, I think, yeah, you know, it just fits in a little nice guest bedroom if you need. And on this balcony, there is a plant that you can, of course, use. You can also use this as the main bedroom. Uh, the only thing your sims are going to have to scooch over. I mean, they do that now, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but this was unit number two. Now I just went above, we are upstairs, same building, unit number three. Again, very similar to the one below, I try to keep also the position of bed, like the kitchen appliances, the, or at least where the kitchen is located and where the bathrooms are located. The same above and below, so that it makes more sense. And this is a quaint little, a little nice area dining area with kitchen kitchenette nothing major and if we go through the french doors we go again into the living room a little, a little less detailed of a living room i think than the one below uh, but there is a nice computer area as always and if you go up out here there is an easel you can use and also the plot the plot the potted plant the bonsai that you can do i think gardening skill with and there is also a little fish here. I don't think you can really use it for anything, but that's fine. And if we go through here, this is a main bedroom, either the main bedroom in my mind, or it could also be a guest bedroom, a main bedroom that I really like. I like the greens. Let me check. Let me check if this bedroom is a children's bedroom. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. You could technically use this as a main bedroom because this is a Murphy bed, so you can you know, switch it up for a bed uh, but in my mind this was more like a spare bedroom that they use for guests so that's why it's mainly a couch but also has uh, a, a few little items that maybe they, they didn't know where to put so they put it here so that's the idea for that bedroom and of course here at the back we also have the bathroom so now we're moving on to unit number four. Uh, unit number four is a little bit more on the darker side, I think. There is this round table, which I think is very lovely. It's a little, you know, squished in, but it's an apartment, so you have to make do with space. There's this nice kitchenette with an island, you can see that. I think this kitchen is probably the prettiest of all the apartments. And as it was below in the other unit, uh, we have, of course, the living room right here with all the couches, TV, everything that you need and a nice computer spot. So if we go now into the bedrooms, this is bedroom number one. It is what I believe to be the main bedroom. Of course, as always, you can change it out for yourself if you need. It's very cute. Nothing major. There is a little TV on it 
And of course, if you want to download this build, it is up on the gallery. I, 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 I hope I mentioned that in the voiceover. But, <laughs> you know, this is another chi uh, children's bedroom, bunk beds, uh, and a little, like, a few stuff for them to do. Uh, so, a nice children's bedroom. And this is the third bedroom. So, the third bedroom in this here is definitely more of a guest bedroom. Or you could use it, I guess, for a teenager. We have a bunk bed right there with a couch underneath and a TV right there. So, uh, in a Murphy bed, of course, on this side, you can see when you come in. In my mind, this is more like a guest bedroom, so your guests can just sit here, watch TV if they want to, and if you are having guests over, there are more than one person, they can sleep uh, both on there and on the bunk and have fun. And out here, there is another pot plant that you can use for gardening. So now we moved on to the next building. You can see right here is the outdoor, you come through these doors, or you could come through these doors if you're coming on the other side of the lot, you come through these, and boom. And here it's only the two units, these two, and there is this door right here that goes to like the, the maintenance stuff. If we go through here, you can see there. this is the things that you need to maintain if you are a landlord, so the, the electricity and water pump, and I put a little, a little decoration here aside uh that sink i guess is functional i believe um so you could technically use that and also this does goes down below uh in this basement the basement is basically like uh in my mind it's for the pool maintenance so this one is not functional uh, but it does look like it connects to the pool so that is uh, what I had in mind. It's also, uh, there's a little junk. These are all non-functional. And this is all non-functional stuff again. It's just decorative to, you know, give a little um, interest to the pool being here. And it made sense, I guess, to have that connected to the little landlord area. So now let's move on to unit number five. These units are both uniquely shaped to each other they are not similar to the other as, at all so you can see here there's this little entrance area very nice little foyer you can leave your shoes here and there is a little bathroom on here nothing major just a petite little bathroom i think these are also two bathrooms but two bedrooms two bathrooms uh, so this is the living room right here uh, on unit number five, you can see the AC. There is a little spot for the fishes. There is this nice little couch area, TV, uh, a nice piano. I really like the shot right here. I think it looks very nice. Here you have a little foyer area where uh, you can sit down, do some crochet, do some knitting. You can uh, read a book, look at this beautiful piece of art, or also go out on this balcony where there is another potted plant that you can use that one. And here you have kitchen and dining, just a little dining room, uh, a dining table, nothing major. The kitchen is nice. Again, the same appliance, I try to keep it pretty similar overall in all the units here there is the children's bedroom down below here so we have a bunk bed this is a pretty nice spacious bedroom you can there is a lot of toys there is the bunk bed the, everything i think there is also room for like grow making it bigger and also splitting it in our half if you want your children when they grow up to have two different bedrooms you can definitely do that here is the main bedroom for the parents or parent just a nice bedroom darker colors a little a little industrial and of course a computer spot right here try to keep again to have the same stuff and the same uh, activities or at least some activities like the piano is only here but you can paint in other buildings that's the idea okay now we're going into unit number six and again we have this little nice foyer here a little different than the one below but more or less the same another area for shoes and again bathroom same bathroom uh I'm, i don't know why i'm showing all the bathrooms they're all the same but you come in here there's this nice beautiful living room very light light and airy and looks just lovely i think I really like the colors in here and of course the AC unit there is this nice mirror area with the dresser if you go in here instead of a foyer I decided to go with a dining room in this area so it's a little bit more functional but it's also a little bit more cramped so that's why there, there's both options 
and if we go in here there is a giant kitchen this is probably the bigger of the kitchens but same appliances same everything and a nice bar because why not if you want to do some mixology you can do it right there two bedrooms in here this one is like a very zen bedroom it's very calming the colors are very like chill and beautiful and there's a lot of yoga stuff so you can do yoga in here and uh, so i think that's beautiful and you have a little nice view of the mountains right there which is pretty nice the other bedroom is right here and this is i guess the main bedroom more or less the other one is bigger but th there is all the yoga stuff so it's a little weird this one is a basic beautiful bedroom you have some nice views for of the neighborhood right there you know basic nothing major in it but it's cute and of course there is a bathroom right there so this was the building let me also show you a little bit of the layout from above you can see this is the top floor with a little waiting area that i didn't show there is a little waiting area right here but this is unit number six that you just seen this is unit number four you can see it right here the murphy bed and this is unit number three and if we go down below you can see that's the entrance with all the uh, stuff for the landlord next to the pool area this is unit number five this is unit number one and this is unit number two you can also see them here with the color outlines i think this really shows where the unit are located very well anyway you can see the uh, values of each uh, apartment the first one is thirty four thousand. this is 46 000. third one is 35 and the fourth one 51 fifth one 44 sixth one 48 total building lot value is 366,000 simoleons and of course it's in Delso Valley. So if you want to download this build it is up on the gallery right now. You can download it by using my ID which is Silesimus like your YouTube. You can also use hashtag Silesimus. It's called Sunrise Apartments and it should fit pretty nicely here in Delso Valley. Of course you can change it for your needs. You can have one family live here. You can have it as a landlord and take care of it. I think there's going to be a lot of fun with this building. So thank you so much for watching this speed build uh, and the little walkthrough. And I guess this is it. Thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know in the comments, of course, what other builds you would like me to do. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.